the gadgets that I uh, feature on this uh, playlist uh, tend to be original designs of mine, um, or at the very least, um, a new twist on an old trick. There are uh, inherent risks to that. So must I find a way to stick all of these warning labels on my gadgets? If I choose to build and use a gadget, I assume the risk. And if you choose to follow, you too are accountable for that. The latest gadget is the COP uh, Paddle Probe. I've had a couple of people suggest to me that it should have some sort of built-in capacitance, that the manufactured ones have that. Uh, if so, those capacitors and those manufactured ones are the highest price capacitors I've seen. I'm choosing not to put capacitance and, and I'm choosing to keep the build simple. And I assume the risk of using it as is. The risk assessment on that is as simple as the build. I don't think that it's likely that it will damage my HT6022 oscilloscope, but if it does, I'm out 75 bucks. Hey, where's your sense of adventure? Take a fucking chance, will you? But there was another concern raised about the COP paddle probe that I was a lot more sympathetic to and a lot more open-minded about finding a solution to. And that was that some people were uncomfortable with the fact that there was a bare copper uh, so near the uh, coils. And um, I thought if there was a solution that did not uh, infringe on the signal acquisition and um, did not add too much bulk so that the probe couldn't get into some of the tight places that I would go with it. And I found this very simple solution by adding this uh, three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe fitting and end cap which I epoxied over top of the copper. I want to thank Dave Sage for his participation on the channel and for prodding me along to making changes to the probe. Dave has a uh, website where he does some very interesting things to uh, miniature engines. Uh, I put a link in the description and uh, I encourage you to go and uh, check him out. And the next video is going to put that cop probe through its paces. So um, we'll see you then, guys.